today uh, just a heads up on the dually saga going on I went yesterday picked up a transmission and 90% of my info checked out I didn't pay attention to every detail I did not check the tag on it I just went by it has the appropriate two-wheel drive tail shaft it was a ZF5 speed and it had the 7.3 block bolt pattern what I didn't do was check the nice tag right there that explicitly says this transmission was made in 1997 so therefore the um, the hole right here for your speedometer sensor well gear rather for the 91 and down trucks is not there so my truck will drive, it just won't have any mileage or speedometer stuff, which uh, this has to be pulled back apart at tax time because I'm going to upgrade to a single mass flywheel with it and stuff. So there's that. And uh, yeah, just one of those things of, I didn't pay attention to every detail, but generally speaking, it works. It Not quite 100%, but it works. Um, so I'll throw up some information and some comparisons and stuff about how to read the tag, how to do this, how to do that. And that way that whenever you're out looking for a ZF transmission, you can better uh, deduce what you've got in front of you. Now, it's like uh, if you see the ones that's got the parking brake on here, it just looks like a drum brake on the back. That's a F Super Duty, uh, the 450 and up size trucks. Uh, you, I guess you could technically put them on a one ton. I mean, they bolt in place, but I'm not sure the specifics of whether it actually will work or not as far as an e a viable e-brake option. But, um, yeah, two-wheel drives, uh, short little stumpy back end. Four-wheel drives, you have a little bit different setup because it's got the, uh, the, the housing there for the four-wheel drive, uh, the uh, four-wheel drive transfer case because uh, from there on back is how you get your yoke and stuff uh, so that's my kind of topic for the day is ZFs you got three different bolt patterns for them you've got the small block which is the 300 302s or 351 Windsor and then you've got the big block bolt pattern which is the 460s and then you go on over to the other big block pattern which is the 7.3s now the 7.3 idi and the power strokes do interchange the differences in your clutch and the 92 and up well 95 and up is the s5-47 transmissions anything below a 95 is a s5-42 and the difference being is just the gears are a little bit different made and stuff uh you can actually do a gear swap from a, a 47 down to a 42 if you've got a bad case on a 47 but you have to do everything at once because the ratios are a tad different um there's not much difference but when you do 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 the uh the swap you have to swap all the guts and internals of it at once so like I said, that's just my little tidbit of today. Uh, just pay close attention and read the tag on the side. That's kind of why they're there. Uh, tell you anything you need to know unless somebody's done some backyard creations regarding the guts, that I just, like I just mentioned. But other than that, uh, yeah, I got this at a scrapyard for $350 and them removing it out of a truck. Uh, I'll post a picture of that so you guys can see that little escapade too. I was going to help, and then once I saw how they did it, I was like, nope, I'm going to go sit in the car. Yeah, that's where we're at here. So far, $850 for the truck, $350 for a transmission. Still not bad. Um, I did get extra parts with it, so those are going to the scrapyard to help pay for this. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, trying to 
trying to throw some knowledge out there because it seems that when you go on the internet you get conflicting stories of what what does what and I, i'm trying to that was the whole purpose of this channel to start with was to knock down those stumbling blocks for people like me that's just getting into a diesel or people that's been around them but they never really dealt with say idis and they've always been power stroke or vice versa because as much as i want to say they're the same they're not they're totally different um but that's another video from another day uh you guys have a safe one